How's everybody doing? Spike here in the frugal fixer shop. And I have to admit, I made this ball thing and it's very effective, but it's, well, I just have to say it's ugly. So we're going to make another one, okay? We're going to make it look a little better this time. So, hey, and I'm going to make it where you don't have to have any tools to flatten anything or make anything. That's the idea behind it. So follow along and we'll make you another one that looks a little better than this one does, okay? Yeah. <laughs> So I went to Lowe's and picked up a few fittings. I'm going to sit down in the floor right here and just clip it and put it together and kind of figure out how I want to make it look. So stick around, watch it go, and uh, we'll be done in a few minutes and we'll see how it works, okay? If we like it, we'll glue it together this time. So hey, y'all follow along. Let's get done. See you in a minute. Okay, guys, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this thing apart and use all the parts and make something new. So I think I got this made where it's going to be real simple for anybody to make one. No tools involved except for maybe something to cut the pipe with. I got this fancy cutter, but we're going to cut this off right here and get this out of the way first where I made this custom custom mount. We're going to get rid of that so y'all can't, y'all wouldn't have to be doing that. People have to do that. And that'd be a lot of work for people to do. Okay, so we're going to take this all apart here. We're going to take this and we're going to put it on here like that. Okay, got it? Let's just cut it right in the center. Okay, we're going to split this in half. Put it like that. We're going to stick one in this side. We're going to stick one in this side. Put 45 here so we can kind of get an idea on our length. we got to get it where it goes from here to here. So that's going to be our length on this roller. So we're going to cut that one off right there. Okay, y'all see how it's going, huh? We can make it look a little better this time than it did last time. So we're going to put that. Here, we'll put a 45 on this side. And it's gonna be a little tight. Gotta take a little off of it. Gotta have a little more room to turn. I went behind them. So we're gonna take another quarter inch off of it right quick, okay? Okay, now, there's that. There's, here's this one. Now, let's take another piece here. And we're gonna come this way and make it kind of come back. We want just enough to probably go out here and grab this on the end. So let's go about like that, okay? Better reach in the corners and pull the stuff out of the corners we want to pull out, okay? Now, this will go in here. Right? Get our cap. Figure out a place to mark this right here so we got room for it not to bind up. I think that'll be about right. So we're going to click this one off here. Slide the pipe on, put the cap back. And now we're going to want to take this little up, get us an angle up like that. Oh, yeah, now we're cooking huge. Okay, let's make another one just like it. Okay, here, here. There. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys. I got it all figured out, and I got it put together, and I think I'm going to like the way it's working now. So y'all check it out. I put a 45 on the end, electrical 45. Gives you a little better angle. And it's got a real heavier size and it fits a little tighter so it gives you a real good friction fit right here for this joint so you don't have to glue it and i'm going to glue the joints here here and here so this can all spin but the plastic's locked and this joint's glued got it all put together i'd like to think it looks a little better than it did the first version of it it's a little easier to do you don't have to bend and heat and smash you just yeah put things together and cut, make a couple of cuts but it's all done now so hey this is how it works. It's got a little better action than the last one did. I really like the way it feels. I cut it down some. And it's got a different angle. But this real angle really comes in handy. So watch. Okay. Watch this. And just that easy. We're ready to play golf again and put the balls again on the mat. So, yeah. They get all scattered around and all over the place. Get them back in a hurry and don't have to chase them. Got a question for you. 
Tell me in the comments if you would. How many balls do you keep in rotation in your simulator? Do you have six or eight or ten or do you do like me and keep about two dozen in circulation? Because if I hit more than, less than that, I beat them to death. They ain't going to stay together long and I broke my share of them and I don't hit the ball hard. So, yeah, just be aware when you're going to play in your simulator. Maybe spread the load out on some other balls and not just beat two or three to death. Or, well, if you want to, beat two or three to death and then start with two or three more. But I'd love to know. Hey, thank you all for joining in and following, and I hope you like the new iteration. I got the new version made, and I think I like it a little better. It's more streamlined, got a little better balance to it. Uh, it's old real good on the floor, and you got a good angle. And uh, the one thing it does the most important is this. Now I can pick up that golf club and start hitting golf balls again. So, hey, that's what it's about. Hey, do me a favor. Y'all do let me know what you think about it. If you got any more ideas, uh, I didn't get but one suggestion on the other one. Somebody suggested a pivot, and I looked at that idea, and I really kind of thought it well, it probably wouldn't work for what I'm doing. So that was the only comment I got for somebody recommending something. But I just decided to make it a little different now for the way well, what I wanted to do. So let's see how it works. I'm gonna turn on the simulator and hit some balls this Saturday evening, and I decided I just want to hit some golf balls. So. Y'all take it easy. We'll see you on the next one and uh, do what, what you want. But a little simpler, a little easier to make. Um, total is probably somewhere around uh, $8, $8 or $8 to $10 in parts to make it lose. So, yeah, spend 10 bucks, make you a ball retriever for your simulator, okay? We'll see you guys. Y'all take care of yourselves. See you next time.